guys. Part two of my um, Northern New South Wales tableland adventure. Um, coming to a spot here just by Danger Falls to uh, set up camp. I'll show you my, uh, if anyone's interested, I'll show you my setup for my camp uh, for the night. It's actually under here, there's a rooftop tent, it sits in the back tray of my uh, ute. Uh, but this place uh, is full circle. I was here a year ago actually. Um, I think I did my third third vlog from here. <clears throat> uh, it was a bit rusty. Uh, there's actually a waterfall, Danger, Danger Falls is uh, about five minute walk uh, just behind the vlogging camera here down in the valley. So I'll set up camp and I'll see how the afternoon light is. I might go shoot that waterfall. If not, I'll definitely get up in the morning and shoot it. But uh, yeah, it's good to be back here. Uh, the guy who runs this place, he actually owns all this land, <clears throat> has done for, oh, I couldn't tell you. He's uh, at least in his 90s. His name's Bill. We had a bit of a yarn for about 40 minutes uh, up in the office back up there. So he's a good, good bloke. But yeah, anyway, <clears throat> I'm going to set up my camper and dry all my wet clothes out from the uh, rainforest today. Uh, make a coffee and then see how the afternoon light is. Okay. So the rooftop tent doesn't take long to set up at all. I, I like to put my sides down. Um, just to, uh, so I can set my little kitchen up. Actually, <laughs> and I've got to dry it, got to dry got to dry my tent out too, it got a bit wet last night, bit of rain around here, excuse me, uh, last night, so bring this down, that's actually quite quick this, I won't, um, I won't time lapse it, so let's go, and we're off. So it's, ooh, walked into the car. So it's basically, um, yeah, for those who are interested in camping or want to know my setup when I go on adventures, <clears throat> this canvas, canvas protects the tent itself. So I just unzip it like so. Ah, this keeps the canvas. The canvas just comes off like this. And pull this down on the side. It's wet. It's very wet. I can't wait to dry it out. So yeah, it's basically it. It's like it's like sleeping in a um, cubby house in a tree. <laughs> it's a queen size mattress inside. I'll I'll set up properly, but that's basically the uh, how quick it took. Let it dry out. Got really wet last night. Um, it's dry inside. I I seasoned it when I first got it, but I let it dry in the afternoon sun and set up properly. I'll show you inside and then I go shoot a waterfall. So I've taken a couple more minutes just to set a few more things up. Uh, this hook's on here. You can enter through here if you want. Uh, come around here. Two uh, windows here with fly screen. Wazzy screen if you will. Closes up, zips up. So it's like that. And then to enter uh, up these stairs. And it's probably quite dark in here, sorry, but yeah, this is it. Inside my tent, uh, it's my sleeping bag I haven't opened and my pillow. And yeah, queen size mattress, foam mattress in here. Um, and that's pretty much it. Once I've set up, very comfortable, home away from home. So I just shot Dangar Falls. I uh, packed up the van, van packed up the car. Um, now I'm in Dorigo National Park, low cloud coming in, might rain, we're out to enter the unknown, 
Now we're about to walk into this rainforest. It's uh, 6 a.m. in the morning, so no one's around by myself. I'm about to go in there. <laughs> it's all good. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go shoot a place called um, Crystal Falls. Uh, it's about 2k along this track. Uh, who knows what we'll see this time of the morning. Usually uh, a lot of wildlife around, hopefully. We can pick some up. A lot of low cloud coming in now through the rainforest. So we might even get a couple of tree shots. But um, yeah, let's go in there. Let's find Crystal Shower Falls. And let's shoot it. Uh, my kind of waterfall, uh, rainforest one. Okay, let's go. Yeah, so it's just uh, started to rain. Um, you can hear it on the canopy of me here, but I should. Can't feel it down here, it's such a dense rainforest. Uh, gorgeous in here. Maybe, maybe one of my favorite rainforests. Uh, New England. National Park, the Gondwana Rainforest, might be my favourite now, uh, but this this is only uh, I think 30 or 40k from the other side of New England. In a sense, it's the same rainforest. It's just been uh, divided by a bit of uh, farmland. So yeah, probably my favourite rainforest. There you go. Uh, or Gondwana rainforest anyway. Alright, let's push on to the waterfalls. Uh, crystal showers. Shouldn't be too long down this track. We'll get here and uh, show you this amazing waterfall. We're at the falls. Um, suspension bridge. It's quite open in here. Unfortunately, I only brought a circular polarizer that uh, swing you around. Falls are there, crystal shower. Spectacular um, waterfall. You can actually walk in behind it. There is a track. You go off the side there, down below it, you can walk in behind it. I'm not sure if I'll do that. I'm just gonna sit up here on this bridge and I uh, get a shot of this baby. And then looking around the other way, just down the valley there. So, yeah, crystal shower falls, spectacular waterfall. All right, I'll just go over here, put my gear down and we'll, we'll set up. I've just come down uh, from where I was and definitely a better shot here. I'm not getting the tree obscuring the waterfall. The tree's actually in the left hand side of my frame. I've gone uh, completely wide, the whole 14 mil on my lens. Same settings as before, I think. Let's have a look, uh, 2.5 seconds, sorry. So that's a bit better with the for the water back there. Also, uh, my um, polarizer just cutting all the glare off the black black rocks down the bottom there really spectacular waterfall so yeah i'll um chuck the shot off it's actually beginning to spit in here you can see a little bit of the coming down the valley and yeah i'll chuck the shot up for you let me know what you think or which one works better uh, the tree one, but I, I'm pretty sure this one does. Anyway, here it is. Oh 
I'm glad I came down here. I wasn't going to. I have, I've actually been here before, so look. Uh, but I'm here. I'm glad I did because I think this is the shot of the day. I'm uh, portrait mode. And I'm getting the whole the whole waterfall and the basin in on my 14 mil. And of course the polarizer is cutting all that glare down the bottom there of those rocks. And it's just it's just giving this lush green with all the the uh, foliage uh, tropical waterfall that I'm going for uh, rainforest look and I don't know if you can see him behind me here where are we there you can walk in around behind the the uh, crystal falls here right round doesn't go all the way around most of the way around absolute perler of a waterfall oh, I'm glad I came here all right so settings on this bad boy uh, 2.5 seconds, F11, ISO 50. I'll, yeah, I'll put the shot up. Out of the two, we won't count the first one with the tree because that was a test shot. Didn't like it. But uh, the one up the top there and the one below, which I'm about to put up, uh, let me know which one's best. I'm pretty sure it'll be this one. Yeah. Here it is. I just got back to the car and um, what a walk, what a rainforest. I've done a vlog here before, I think it was my third or fourth vlog I actually done here. So I'll chuck a link up, go easy on me. There's lots of other little walks in here, quite easy, quite accessible. There's a cafe and what have you back, back up there and you can start there and do a rainforest treetop walk. Go back to the cafe and recharge your batteries. Um, main road just there. Uh, yeah, Dorigo, Gondwana Rainforest, spectacular, amazing, well worth the visit. Come here if you can, bring your camera. I'm actually, I live 400 kilometres north from here, so I live in another state, Queensland, this is in New South Wales, so I'm about to travel back home. I think it's four hour, hour and a half drive, what have you. Might do it in four. <laughs> See how I go. Um, yeah, thanks for coming along, guys. I really hope you liked it. Uh, and uh, you know, if you like my content, do all the usual business, like, subscribe. Um, yeah, till I see you on the next adventure. Have an awesome week. Get out with your camera, have some fun, and um, cheers, peace out. Have a good one, guys. See you later.